none by Amiga instead. We get these comments from clients all the time. And then do you know what it is? There's nothing wrong with Amiga watches. The problem with Amiga watches for me is the price. It's the RRP and we bail clients out all the time on a daily basis in part exchanges. They've gone to Amiga because they don't want to pay the Rolex price. They will then realize how much money they've lost in a short space of time within a one year, two years. And it can be anything up to sort of 50% on their original purchase, depending on the model. And then they will come to us and say, I just wish I'd have bought a Rolex in the first place. They will not buy Rolex sometimes. They go down the Amiga route because they don't want to spend the extra five, 10, you know, 7,000, whatever it is to buy that model that they really want. They unfortunately buy Amiga, lose money, fall out with the Amiga brand, and then jump into Rolex, and they'll never look back. And the good thing about when they do that is, over time, that loss that they've incurred with the Amiga they've just bought, they will actually get that back with the Rolex watch that they've just bought. So it will level out and they're into something that they absolutely love. The build quality and the design is two different levels.